Here we go. Weird new new coworker. Uh, hey, Billy, hold your nuts. I might have gone over the line at work and want to know your or Nia's input uh, would be uh, would be on this. Okay. Long story short, I essentially quit my job today because a coworker was taking pictures of me. Before you jump to any conclusions, hear me out, and you might agree with me in the end. I already I don't like that somebody's taking. It sounds like you didn't want your picture taken. Uh, this Monday, we got a new employee that basically acts like she's in a reality show. The first day, I thought she might be joking around by doing the classic go from one person to the next and whisper, turning around, talk about the other employees in the room. Okay, go from one person to the next and whisper, turn around, talk about the other employees in the room because she's already talking shit about everybody. But then I realized she's just crazy. She has taken pictures and videos of all the men at work and shared them with her Snapchat or Instagram or whatever crap it is she uses to communicate with other people that are on her level. Sounds like she's trying to get a reality show herself and become famous or something. The first time she did this, she was standing a few feet away from me and did a 180 jump spin that would have made Dennis Rodman proud. And with her phone, took a picture and said that one was for Instagram. It startled the hell out of me, and I plainly said, don't take pictures of me. Over the days, she continued to take pictures of the rest of the guy without consent, of course, and I got to see a couple of them. One was of my boss's ass with the text over it that said, dat booty, though. Oh, God, this is, yeah, this is somebody who just spends too much time on the Internet. I don't know why you quit your job. You should just go into, don't you guys just go to HR? Um, so the only thing that got finally got me was when I was restocking the shelves and realized after walking across the store that I felt I was being watched. I looked up and saw her grinning while holding her phone, and I asked her if she had taken a video of me. She said she was taking a video of the rain outside, and I happened to walk across the path. Obviously bullshit. I called her bluff and asked her to show me the video from the beginning, and it's clear that it starts and ends with me, 20 seconds of me wheeling merchandise around. You can barely see a window on the back where you can't even tell it's raining. Uh, she's standing 60 feet away from the fucking window. All right. Now, before you say, oh, maybe she likes you. Dude, I'm on your side and wants to see you. Uh, let me be clear. No one is touching themselves to a video of a guy with a dad bod wheeling around merchandise. It's not that, and she knows I'm happy in my relationship with my longtime girlfriend regardless. I complained to my boss, who after two days finally talked to her about it, and then she told me, she said, I walked in front of a rain video she was making. I said, if it was the other way around and it was a guy taking videos of women, I'm sure that would have been grounds for dismissal. Absolutely. I also forgot to mention that she went through my boss's text when he wasn't looking to see which women were talking to him. It pissed me off that he was more than willing to believe that she was suddenly a part-time meteorolo meteorologist than just believing me that it was the 40th video of that kind she was taking of us. So I kind of snapped and told him not to bother insulting our intelligence by trying to believe his excuse. And I said, if she tells him the picture of his ass, wait, and I said, if she tells him the picture of his ass she took was intended to be a picture of morning fog until he got in the way to just keep it to himself and I quit. Ah, dude, you snapped. You snapped. You know why? Sorry, dude, I got the volume up too high. You know why you snapped? Because like me, you had expectations and you lost your patience and that caused you to lose your fucking mind. And you know what? You're 100% in the right. At least I'm, I'm hearing your side of the story here. Um, so what do you think? Did I go too far? Should I have given her Time to adjust. I'm sure you deal with unwanted pictures of you every day, but I'm not famous and haven't done anything to deserve this. Uh, yeah, I mean, exactly. That's it. I mean, you're not jumping around like a monkey on stage. Um, I feel like I've, I'm being followed by the worst PI, and I can't help it. It gives me anxiety. As far as I know, she's already has pictures of me with the eyes cut out at home. Uh, the way I see it, I'm not wasting time waiting until a coworker grows up to learn the difference between right and wrong. She happens to be 19, but I'm talking about mental maturity uh, because I've worked alongside teenagers before who know perfectly well what the appropriate way to believe to behave at work is. And this job pays lousy enough that it's no big loss as far as I'm concerned. Thanks, and hope you and Nia have a little 
and the little one have a good fourth of july you guys are a plus family as far as i'm concerned thank you very much um i agree with you 100 percent. the only thing is she's 19 so i think they just need to talk to her i wish she didn't quit your job but it sounds like you're not really worried so i don't think it was your dream job i mean maybe her behavior opened the door for something you got to turn it into a positive um and you also have to learn like i'm trying to learn with my behavior and verizon in the fucking bank this week uh you know, I, you know what it was, was you asked her nicely. She ignored what you, what you, you, you asked her not to do. You went to the person of authority and he swept it under the rug. And then that was enough to make you fucking snap. I completely understand that. Um, I think your behavior is completely normal. I'm surprised you didn't tell your boss to go f- fuck himself. And, um, but at the end of the day, you know, you don't have a job now. So. And you're actually a good guy. I mean, I, what, what did the guy say when you quit? He was all right with that? Um, I, I think kids grow up today and they, because they so overshare on all of these things, their boundaries with privacy is, is pretty much non-existent. I mean, there was like a famous woman took video of an older woman naked in the locker room going, oh my God, look at her old ass. And she got into like... And like she had no idea that like I was like why would you do that to somebody? That's somebody's mom or their grandmother. But I don't know. People are. Uh, it's bad, and I, I got to be honest with you. It's bad enough when someone comes up to you and just takes a picture you don't want. But when people walk up with the video already on, um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't like that. And even with what I do, because you know they're usually an extremely selfish person, and the whole moment is about them. And, you know, that whole, oh, man, YOLO, look at my life right now, shaking my head, whatever the fucking dumb shit that they're doing. It really is funny, though, when you watch these fucking kids on, like, Instagram and everything. Everybody's acting like they have, like, a hit show and that they're, like, these celebrities themselves. Like, always taking, like, you know, Snapchat, fucking pictures of, like, the food they're eating, the car that they're in, the fucking view that they have. Everybody's, like, acting like... uh I don't know that they're flying. Everybody's trying to act like they're flying around in a fucking private jet. I don't understand it, but I'm also, I'm realizing that I'm fucking old. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think you reacted in a normal fucking way. I wish you didn't quit your job though. Cause I think you're hundred percent right. Um, in the future, I would just go to HR and when you're, or would go to your boss and when he doesn't, I would make a formal complaint and that would stop it. And, um, but I know I would know at that point that I would hate that 19 year old so much that it would be hard to even be around her. Like I have a big I have a big issue with forgiving people. Like once you're in in the cunt column, <laughs> it's you know it's kind of a life sentence. Um, so there you go. Yeah, move on with your life and just kind of learn from that shit. But uh, good for you for speaking up. But uh, don't do anything else. Don't go back to the fucking business like a lunatic. And fucking key somebody's car or anything like that. Just fucking walk away from it. 